It was business as usual for the week and a half old administration and the South, new South Korean President Moon Jae in. On Sunday, he named his key advisors and cabinet posts. Moon Gun Young has the list from the top office. Turning to a long-time public official for the post of his first finance chief, Mr. Moon noted that the new government came into office amid unprecedented low growth, economic polarization, and economic hardships for the nation's working class. 경제 사령탑인 경제부총리의 인선에서 종합적인 위기 관리 능력과 과감한 추진력을 가장 중요하게 고려했습니다. The selection of Chang Ha Sung for the new position of Chief of Staff for Policy further hinted Mr. Moon's strong intent to shake up the nation's business environment by reforming the hulking family run conglomerates. South Korean leader faces diplomatic challenges, soothing ties with China, as well as increased tensions over North Korea's missile and nuclear threats. To tackle such challenges, he carried on his unconventional personnel appointment style. Kang Kyung Hwa, senior policy advisor to the UN Secretary General, to serve as the Minister of Foreign Affairs. 국제 외교무도의 외교무대에서 쌓은 정문성과 인적 네트워크를 바탕으로 지금 이 시기 민감한 외교 현안을 슬기롭게 헤쳐나갈 책임자라고 판단했습니다. 또한 내각 구성에서 성평등이란 관점에서도 큰 의미가 있다고 봅니다. As his national security advisor, Moon appointed Chung Yung, a former diplomat who acted as his top foreign policy advisor during his campaign. It's another eye catcher in Moon's personnel appointment, as the post has traditionally been held by military officials. 그리고 지금의 북핵 위기 상황에서는 우리의 안보에서 외교의 역할이 더욱 중요하다고 생각합니다. The appointment comes at a crucial time as the Moon administration embarks on a journey to set a new course for South Korea through its economic and security troubles. While the president's picks for chief of staff and advisors are effective immediately, the ministerial posts are subject to confirmation hearings, although parliamentary approval is not required. Moon Go-young, Arirang News.